All right. Well, I want to do a, a review on a gun that I built this year for the 2019 deer season. Unfortunately, I have not killed a deer with this gun yet, but I have come up with an amazing rifle that is extremely accurate. For the price, I cannot, uh, I can't complain. Uh, the lower receiver I bought is a stripped lower. I paid a hundred dollars to for it for uh, or at a local gun shop. It's a Spikes Tactical lower receiver. Um, I bought the parts kit from Palmetto State Armory that came with the the uh, the hand grip here and the butt stock, the tube, and the stage two trigger. I think I paid like hundred and fifty dollars for it. The rest of the gun though. Is our Yankee Hill machine. It's their their competition style rail and their uh, their brake here. I can't remember the name of the brake, but it this gun here is one of the best shooting you rifles. Be that close to it. You gotta leave it there for longer so people can actually see it. This is probably one of the best shooting rifles that I've ever owned ever. Um, I mean, this gun here is absolutely amazing. I built it in my apartment with basic tools. I ordered the, uh, I actually bought their wrench that, that uh, that's designed to tighten the barrel nut to the barrel and everything. It puts everything in time. You can see here that everything is perfectly Honey, in line. I'm zooming in. You gotta stop being so close. Oh, I know. Everything is perfectly in line. Um, you can see here that everything's perfect. And I've done this in my apartment. I Dang. mean, I, <laughs> you, you can't get much better than that. The gun itself, I've probably ran about 5,000 rounds through this gun. Um, a that lot thing, of it was... That thing loaded. Do what? That thing loaded. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Most everything that I've ran in this gun has just been your basic 223 ammo. I haven't run much 5.56, five, but you can see the bolt carrier group absolutely clean there's no, no i mean no problems still good i've only cleaned this gun one time a lot what the gun is actually sighted in on is a deer season xp from winchester i'm not sponsored by them with this ammo this gun will shoot at 100 yards i can i can shoot less than you know, half inch in my way. I can put bullets on top of bullets. Now, once you get into 5.56 five, and stuff like that, uh, you know, oddball 223, like uh, 55 grain, 62 grain, 223, sorry. Um, it, it wants to throw like a five inch in my way group, which is not really good. This gun shoots its best with 62 grain and above it is a one and nine twist i custom ordered the barrel um it has a raptor charging charging handle on it the optic that i got for the gun i actually got it on sale the woman got it for me um for my birthday and it's the uh can't really pronounce that word what's the name of it S sonar 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 i don't know some of you people might know what it's called but we got it from Palmetto State Armory and it was $157 with the mount, which is a great deal. Um, all in all though, the gun is super smooth. I mean, extremely, I mean, the, the accuracy is amazing. Trigger pull, it's on safe, of course, because we're indoors, but it, the rifle is cleared. That don't matter. Oh, I know, but it's, it's a great rifle. Um, if you want quality and you don't want to spend too much money, I would, advise, I would advise watching the sales from Yankee Hill Machine. Certain times of the year, they'll have stuff half off. Whenever I built this rifle, these parts, in order to build this rifle would have been about $2,000. But it was during the holiday over the summer, and I cannot remember if it was 4th of July or Memorial Day. I think it was Memorial Day. It was near your birthday. If it was, yeah, I think it was Memorial Day. Well, they had half off. So I've got the entire billet receiver, the parts kit, the forward uh, 
you know, they're full grip, barrel, um, gas tube, uh, gas block, and everything. And I paid right at $900 for this rifle. Now, if it wouldn't have been on sale, this top end would have easily cost about $2,500. Completely worth the price. But I would, you know, I wouldn't pay that much for it unless it was, you know, I mean, I would wait till it was on sale. Like I said, I built this gun in the apartment and I have no complaints. Now, you know, I haven't shot a deer with it yet. I've took it every time I've gone <clears throat> rifle hunting this year, other than the time I've went and uh, bow hunted, you know, I've taken this rifle and it is... It's really impressive. I don't have any videos right now of me actually shooting this gun, but um, all in all, it's it's really really good. Um, this is definitely one that I'll keep. I won't sell to buy another one. Um, you know, I wanted to buy a Yankee Hill machine lower, but a lot of the gun stores where I live, they actually don't carry the lowers. So I had to buy a different, you know, I had to buy what they had, but, um, you know, I would definitely recommend anything from Yankee Hill Machine. I had a 14 inch barrel Yankee, Yankee Hill Machine gun and, um, it had a two inch compensator that made it legal. That gun was beyond accurate. It was a diamond flute barrel, just like this one, but except it was 14 inches and at 500 yard, I could hit a a uh, six inch by 12 inch plate every time offhand with a uh, Nikon scope. And it, this gun was extremely accurate, but I sold that rifle and I wanted to get a 16 inch where I could get a little bit more velocity out of it. And man, I'm telling you this, this rifle here, it, it really is, you know, it, it's everything that it's cracked up to be. And, uh, you know, I didn't go fancy on it. I just, I just got the standard mail spec butt stock, mail spec, hand grip right there, nothing fancy. Just, you know, it's a good rifle to just take to the woods. But yeah, if, if you're in the market for a good AK, or AR-15, sorry, you know, I would look at Yankee Machine definitely.